energies have been so incredibly intense today that I went ahead and I busted out one of my outfits from last year. This is the uh, sound canceling headphones to help block out some of the ringing in the ears. I don't know if y'all are having the ringing in the ears. It's been nonstop constantly. But then I also busted out my secret hat right here that I made uh, with aluminum foil lining. And believe it or not, whenever you put this thing on or whenever I put the thing on, it is like putting on a conquistador's helmet or something. I swear I can feel the, the waves being blocked from my brain whenever I put this thing on. The only problem with it is, it is it doesn't breathe at all. So it's just, it's heating up the entire time that I'm wearing it. So since we're going through these massive shifts, again and we're feeling these massive amounts of energy one of the things whenever i'm shifting timelines i don't know if it's the same for you let me get this camera angle correct here so whenever i'm shifting these timelines okay i got my ninja creamy right here i got a couple of pineapples that are on the verge of going bad because i have that uh object displacement or whatever where uh, you, if something's not in your line of sight it just completely disappears so anyway i've got two pineapples that are about to go bad so what i'm going to do is I've got the uh japanese knife right here i'm about to go ahead and cut these bad boys up i'm gonna throw them i'm gonna blend them and then i'm gonna throw them in the little cups for the ninja creamy uh one of the things with timeline shifting is at least for me it'll look really make me crave sugar for some reason I don't know why and so what I used to do whenever I would um, be shifting timelines whenever we have these massive energies like the Schumann resonance today we're going through another massive shift again it's crazy on uh, February 14th on Valentine's Day we're going through another massive crazy shift and so one of the things that I used to do is I would eat like a massive amount of ice cream like obviously I try not to eat stuff that's bad but i think you know the amount of good stuff that i do probably overruns the bad stuff at least a little bit and so i used to uh eat a lot of ice cream because i think that the sugar kind of like helps you shift the timelines and so one of the things that i wanted to do yeah i think it's this one is right on that verge of uh my grandma used to say going south I'm not sure where that term originated. Do y'all have, have y'all ever heard of that term going south whenever something starts to go uh, bad? But anyway, I decided to uh, get a Ninja Creamy and make like good ice cream, like healthier ice cream with like protein powders and stuff like that. The problem is, is it had been so long since I consumed like dairy dairy and like regular milk. I was getting uh, the grass-fed organic milk at first, and that was not doing too well with my stomach. I guess I cannot have dairy anymore, and uh, so I had to put a stop to the milk, and then I haven't found an alternative to it just yet, but this uh, Ninja Creamy, it can do sorbet, and it's amazing. Uh, there's actually a uh, there's a, a thing that you can do that's cheaper than this that does the same thing. I've wanted one of these for forever. I, I manifested this thing. It was one of my dream items, uh, but they're so expensive that I wasn't able to get it. Uh, but I saw a video on TikTok the other day because these are like viral on TikTok. So there's other creators that are like making, uh, I guess, workarounds. And there's another ninja product i'll go ahead, i'll link a video down here at the bottom did y'all know you can link videos on tiktok like uh, kind of like they do on youtube where they put like the video at the box so you can link your own videos and then you can link other people's videos too so i'll uh find a video of the the uh other ninja creamy kind of workaround and it's i think it's like 30 bucks at walmart so you can do this what i'm doing right now for like uh 30 dollars and some ice cube trays and basically what we're doing is we take this and then blend it all up, throw it in these little cups that are made for the Ninja Creamy. I don't know how it works. It's got like these blades that go all the way. It's it's weird. I have no idea how it works. I really like want to take the thing apart. The, uh, the scientist inside of me wants to take the thing apart and like see what's going on with it and uh, try to figure it out because I have no idea how it actually works. It's very, very cool though. And you can make healthy alternatives to a lot of the stuff. And that's what I was saying about, you know, there's, there's an elitism when it comes to the health world because the people that already know the information, they almost want to gatekeep the information. Like they think, oh, you, you know, you're, you're going to, you, you got a burger at Wendy's today. And then they like try to shame you for it instead of, you know, being like, Okay, everybody's going to occasionally make some bad health choices like me eating half a half a ice cream uh, whenever we're shifting these timelines and uh, you know try to 
push people into the positive and that's why I have to uh, you know tell people about supplements and stuff like that because it's a lot harder to get somebody to go out and like exercise as opposed to um, just going and taking a pill it's almost like everybody got brainwashed back in like the 1950s and where the doctors were all pushing cigarettes onto the, all the little kids and the Flintstones ads were pushing cigarettes onto the uh, to the children's and uh, you know the doctor doctor recommended legits or legits or whatever the uh, the uh, <clears throat> kind of cigarette was. It's funny how the medical industry has always kind of been like that. You know, they always have been using their their abilities as an authority figure to control the masses, and that's all of what controlling the masses really is. It's all it's all mind control of saying, "Hey, it's it's gaslighting." Is what it is. It's, it's narcissistic gaslighting that all of these giant corporations, these mega corporations, have found out how to do, and they have done it so incredibly well. And they took the work from people like Richard Bandler and Milton Erickson and other people that were not good, like Edward Bernays, when we're talking about propaganda. Edward Bernays was Sigmund Freud's nephew. Okay, Sigmund Freud, who was a weirdo, in my opinion, you know, the father of modern psychology. Modern psychology really doesn't help anyone because all it does is it gets people to focus on their, their problems. Uh, what is has been going on in their past, and like, let's let's go in and analyze this and we'll, we'll delve in all that. That's why I don't like a lot of the shadow work that goes on because it says, okay, with neuro-linguistic programming, what you do is you take a person and instead of focusing on their past, you say, hey, what kind of person do you want to be? What is your ideal person? If you could be someone in five years, what would that person look like? What would they walk like? What would they talk like? What would they act like? And if you want to be that person, then all you have to do is you have to just start imagining yourself as that person and start making the decisions of that person would make. Just like those old, what would you Jesus do bracelets instead of it being what would Jesus do be like what would you do if you were your ideal self and then you just have to start making those decisions and acting like that and so what a lot of the old forms of psychology did was they delved people into their problems and I'm not saying it's not important to like maybe analyze and figure out why you might have some of the problems that you do but really what you want to do is you want to create a future that is best for you and you know you're you're the best person to analyze what that future is but the thing is is that if you sit down and you learn how to meditate because that's really the key that's how that's how you rewrite the code of the matrix is through meditation through getting quiet learning how to meditate and i'm not even saying you have to put it into years into practice to like sit down for hours a day after you learn how to meditate it's it's all a matter of it's just like hypnosis it's just like neurolinguistic program you can go back into the states over and over and over again we pause this and most of that stuff that's in meditation or spirituality, a lot of that stuff is just, it's the same as neurolinguistic programming. It's all based in reality. And since all these different forms, it's just like weaves of a web are all spreading out. They're all from the same form of reality. And so you can do the same things with deep meditation that you can do with neurolinguistic programming it's just you could do it a lot faster once you learn how to control the mind and that's the thing is we're when we're all little kids we should all be taught in school how to control your own mind if, if at the very least because you need to know how to put yourself into a happy state do i know how to put yourself into a happy state you can do it right now okay i've i've, I've used this technique to get jobs from in job interviews i'll put it on my resume i stopped putting it on my resume because it, it was intimidating people of course, now I don't need a resume because I just make money. You know? I get paid to exist now because I know how to manifest. And so what you want to do, if you want to put yourself into a really good state, okay, you can close your eyes, think back to a time of when something really good happened to you. And the thing with really advanced people is they'll have a whole list of things and memories that they can call back upon to pull these good feelings and these good emotions whenever they want to recall them. So if you go back right now and you think of something amazing that happened in your life and you close your eyes and you see just like you were seeing whenever you were going through that memory, you see through your eyes just as if it was happening to you right now and you can replay it from the moment that it starts and run through it in your mind and imagine that your mind is a giant 4k tv and you can turn the brightness up you can make the sounds more crisp and you can really relive all of those emotions and those feelings and just let that 
good feeling just spin right through your body. And as you do this, you can squeeze your thumb and your forefinger together, and this is called an anchor. And whenever you wanna go back into this state of feeling this incredible bliss just circulating through your entire body, all you have to do is squeeze that thumb and your index finger, and you'll go back right into that state.